Listen. We're not thinking of, of, about what's coming at us at all because most people don't even have an idea that such a thing as white supremacy exists. When it controls everything, if you're black, everything that you're doing, the white supremacist control. Even when you think that you're controlling something, the average black person wakes up in the morning and say, well, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. Well, you're going to do this and you're going to do that on whose terms? I mean, when you walk out your door and the street that you walk on, who determines what street that you're going to be on? Even when you walk out what you call your door, because your door might not even be your door. Your door may be something that you owe somebody for. Have you thought of that? You hmm. say, this is my door. This is my house. Is it really? Hmm. When you stop to think, who really owns your house? Are you beholden to anybody? I mean, is this a house that you built on the street that you built in the place that you decided it would be? Or did was the place already there and somebody told you it might be a good idea for you to go over there and take a look and then move in? Move in on what? On whose terms? On your terms? Not likely. On somebody else's terms. And who is that somebody else, ultimately? Who is it? Have you ever asked? Have you ever thought about it? Do you really control your existence on this planet? You're the average black person, particularly black males. You know, we got this thing about, you know, physicality. If I take off my shirt and I got big bulging muscles, I mean, somehow, that's a cure-all for everything in the world. I'm a black male, and I got strong muscles. I can lift weights, and I can run down the street faster than anybody else and get where I'm going. Uh, that's somehow makes me a strong black man, and that's all I need. I got these bulging muscles. I'm, I'm fit and I'm trim. I love to take my shirt off, particularly, you know, in the summertime and whatnot. I don't want to wear a shirt at all. I take my shirt off so people can see my strong muscles. Okay. And I can lift things. I can go here and I can go there. But have you ever stopped to think about what you can use your muscles for or against. And what's the product? Hmm. Is this all that you have? Do you have anything else to show for your being on this planet up to now? Do you have a plan for the future hmm. that goes beyond just you taking up the sidewalk, making people walk around you when you come down the sidewalk? Because you're in the middle, and they have to go past you, the ladies with the baby strollers and all like that, because you are, hey, your own man, or are you really a man? Because the people who, when Martin Luther King was assassinated, there were a lot of strong males, strong black males, but I, I, I tend to believe they were people who understood their position in the system of white supremacy. That's why they had signs. Now these are people that lift garbage pails. You gotta be strong to do that. But they had signs saying what? I am a man. People right now can go to their computers and punch up the day that Martin Luther King was assassinated, April 1968. And there in Memphis, Tennessee, Martin Luther King was there to tell to help the garbage workers, who were all black, I understand, to get higher wages. And these garbage workers, these sanitation workers, proud people, people who, uh, many of them, I mean, were, you might call it that day, uh, pillars of the community and in the church and all like that. But they were sanitation workers. But they were also saying, yeah, even though we're sanitation workers, we should be getting a decent wage. But they didn't have signs saying we should be getting a decent wage. They had signs saying almost in unison. There are photographs of it. That's a historical record saying what? I am a man. M-A-N. Like Muddy Waters even had a song saying man. 
man, you know. Right. Over and over again. And when black people, and they don't say it so much nowadays, they say dude, but black people used to use the word man all the time back in the 40s and 50s. That's Why? Right. You had to keep saying that to kind of reassure yourself that that's what you should be. You should be treated like a man. You know, I'm a man. I mean, don't be calling me no boy. I'm a man. You say, boy this and boy that. I'm tired of hearing that. You know? I mean, even when black people would say it to each other. Hey, boy. You know? Hey, well, you know, man. Uh, hey, I'm a man. I'm three times seven. That was a common saying. Three times seven. That makes me 21. You know? I'm a man. And if you don't believe I'm a man, I'll prove it to you. you know? Meaning I will do harm to you physically. That's what it meant in the old days. But see, black people had to keep saying that to each other. And finally, they had to start saying it to white people. But the white supremacists said, it's only going to be one man on this planet. And you boys who want to be men, I tell you what, after Martin Luther King is dead, I'll make a deal with you. Hmm. You'll go from boys, you'll go from boys not to men. You'll go from boys to women. To women. Yes. I will degenderize you. And get you to love it. You'll love acting like your sisters. And love being that way. And go around looking for another male to do things with you in the bed. Like you're a female. Now some people have said they've seen some cartoons of my work uh, on the internet that have been presented. And that uh, it, it pretty well embellishes what I have been trying to say in my textbooks and uh, to the extent that it does that well that has been from what i understand some people reported to me a plus because they didn't understand what i had written very well but when they saw those cartoons that just repeated what i was saying and attaching my name to it and uh, came right out of the book, the material did, uh, they say that they better understood it. And I can understand that because people are kind of visual, particularly in the year 2021 now, uh, more visual than ever.